Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Death Road to Canada with Dog and Pony. I'm Dog and Pony, this is Death Road to Canada. We're going to get started right where we left off with Adele. The horror continues. Yikes. We're driving ar around here 11 days until Canada. Her health is a lot lower than I thought, if I'm being perfectly honest. Here we go. We found a quiet city. Adele explores a fairly quiet city. This is a good chance to resupply in relative safety. Your zombie forecast is mild, and your aggression is sluggish. That's nice after surviving that siege from before. We want to go to the coffee shop or the office building. Let's go to a coffee shop. I bet there's a lot of food saved up in the coffee shop. Not much to do on this screen. Our morale is not terrible considering our health. I'm going to switch over to the knife so we don't accidentally use our gun right from the beginning. Let's go in. Here we are. There are a few zombies wandering around, but it's not too bad. Let's see if we can can't find any good loot. Med kits, food, more ammo for my shotgun. Anything really would be a boon at this point. That's eight ammo, but not for the shotgun. And I don't believe I have a a pistol or anything anything else really. Ooh. Okay. Filing cabinets. I bet we'll find some ammo. A little bit, but still looks like pistol ammo. And a little bit of food, too. What do we got going on in here? This refrigerator is moving around on its own. Was that... I think that was some food. It might have been ammo. I can't tell. Oh, jeez. Didn't see that zombie there. Nothing in here worth... worth staying over. And one more room I didn't explore yet. The, the rooms that have been explored stop blinking. It's a good indication, good way to loot properly. I think there was something in down here, but it might have been taken by the zombie. It looked like something blinked. Let's, let's throw this chair, take out two of them, at least temporarily. Anything good? Nothing. All right, not off to a great start, but we did get some ammo if we ever find a pistol. I gotta get out of here. They are going to... Okay, I, I, I'm still alive. I'd say we should just get back in our car and go, but we need some medical supplies before we can do that. I, I haven't seen the coffee shop yet. I'm sure we'll find it sooner or later. Hopefully sooner. More food. It's good. Ammo. I was thinking that would be food, but it was not. All right, snuck right past him. Opening up this door. Oh, that was unexpected. A lot more doors going on. What's on this bookshelf? More ammo. I think that's actually assault rifle ammo. Pistol is blue. Got a trunk. More pistol ammo. A med kit. Perfect. I don't know if I can use that or not. I might need to be a surgeon in order to use med kits on the go. Otherwise, you have to use them in the car. It's just a guess. And yours is as good as mine. More food, not bad. I was thinking about waiting in the bathroom until the horde kind of caught up to me and then trying to sneak out. But I decided against it, and I think that's for the better. Get out of this building. Where's that coffee shop? Oh, I thought I was going to get out of that unscathed. Sadly, I was unable to do so. Apocalypse coffee. How appropriate. What a coincidence. Okay. So far, nothing too great. This enormous and complex coffee machine was built to survive a few different kinds of end-of-the-world scenarios. This was a big part of this coffee shop's marketing campaign. Truth in advertising, it still works. Adele gets some coffee. Adele sprays some coffee into an old cup lying around and then drinks it up. She feels all coffeeed up. Okay. Is there more I can do with this? This same thing again. Adele gets some coffee. Even more coffee. And then feels pretty sick afterwards. That was a mistake. It's hard to say if it was the massive amount of caffeine, the filthy cups, or how the coffee has been rotting for an unknown amount of time. Ugh. Feel pukey. Okay, so maybe I'll barf, but not die. Usually barfing means death. Who knows? Got some loot in the toilet. Got a little bit of gasoline to keep us going on our way toward Canada. 
The little maple leaf up in the corner is blinking. It doesn't... It, usually that tells me how many days are left till Canada. And now I'm not really sure what it's indicating. Come on. Come on. I'm just gonna get back to the car now. I got a med kit. I got a little bit of food. And I'd rather not die in this small town. Lower it. Let's get out of here. Okay. Good enough for me. Let's keep going. I wonder if I can arrest it with only one party member. If we could get solar panels and a couple batteries, it could come in handy. I agree. So, town of traps. Adele finds a street in a town that has traps all over it. Pits with blankets put over the top, snares everywhere, spikes on barrels, a door with an obvious guillotine, guillotine over it. And these are just the visible ones. Scouting this area for loot could be very dangerous, especially since Adele is alone. Hmm. That's a good point. Drive away. <laughs> I'm losing some more gas. I wonder how far we are from Canada. Adele camps out in a big field. Adele eats a decent meal. Oh, I lost food, but my morale increased. My morale still seems lower than it was when we started this video. Oh well, I guess. Let's leave the camp. <laughs> Went from real cranky to just a little frowny. Dell's trying to help herself, but we don't have any supplies. We do have one. We have a med kit. Use it. The car is completely run out of gas and coast to a stop. Oh, man. Did not see that one coming. The car has been abandoned and we'll be walking from here. While walking along the side of, the, of a large stream, Adele notices some fish in the water. Adele tries her luck, goes into the water, and tries to catch some fish by hand. By some miracle, Adele is able to catch a decent sized catfish. We got food! We got plus six food! That's good news. In the wake of our car being ruined. Ooh! Adele spots a bakery van that is broken down on the side of the road. The van is irreparable. The bread is moldy and inedible, but there are some sugary cakes that are still good. I thought that was going to be us getting another vehicle, but I guess it was just a little bit more food. Let's go. Oh! While wandering through a small town, Adele discovers a newer hybrid car in front of a store. The battery is dead, but the store turns out to be a car parts store. Finding a working battery was easy. Hybrid cars have amazing gas mileage, but are fairly fragile. They're also very difficult to repair, so enjoy it while you can. Let's start it up. Our, our fuel will last longer this time around, but the car might not. Adele notices a small row of fishing cabins past a river. Let's go fishing. You're out of luck and... It, if underwater creatures are having their own zombie apocalypse. So our zombie forecast is a moderate swarm that is pretty irritated and it's noon. Let's try fishing. We have quite a bit of food it looks like, but you could always use a little bit more. I wonder how many days we are from Canada. Uh, hopefully we'll find out in just a second. Look, oh, we're 10 days away from Canada. And the maple leaf is no longer blinking. There's no fishing. But that's not going to stop us. What? The, says, the sign says you can't fish here. You can't because you need a fishing pole. I caught fish with my bare hands. Adele, you're used to this. Ah, oh, jeez. I might just have to get back in the car. Yeah. Oh, hey, look. A bridge. Didn't see that before. I I saw it. I just wasn't quite sure what it was. That is not worth going, staying in and getting swarmed. Oh jeez, I might have to leave my car behind. Can I sneak behind the back of these buildings? No, I don't want to. I don't want to. Let's stay here. Come on. Oh crap! Come on! Come on! Come on! Can I can I switch to my gun? I, didn't, I don't have to. I don't have to switch to my gun. Come on. Yes! I got back to my car. Start it. Let's floor it! Yeah. Beating off in my hybrid. Okay. That was not the best results. But we're still going. We still got food. We got a med pack, and we're not using it. Ooh. Adele meets another person just chilling on a park bench. He seems friendly. They have a conversation just like before the world ended. What was the main topic? 
I think we need a little bit of an advice exchange. Adele exchange adv exchanges advice on different topics. The friendly survivor is enlightened by the advice and gives some great tips of his own. Our mechanical increases. We went from a little happy to pretty darn happy about mechanical problems. Maybe that means we'll be able to keep our hybrid car a little bit longer. All right. We we have a med kit and it's not being used. I Maybe I'm misunderstanding what that's for. So Adele loots a dentist office, finding some leftover medical supplies and many technically edible tubes of toothpaste yet again. She goes to the waiting room and grabs a magazine from their sparse selection. Pick a magazine. We've already tried Glurge for the sensitive soul, so why not read about some questionable science? Adele feels pessimistic about the magazine's prediction of flying hover cars in a few years. Now that civilization is more or less destroyed, it was still a pretty entertaining magazine. Our attitude has decreased, but we did get food and some medicine. So let's keep going. Adele has a pretty bad attitude. If you close your eyes, this cat almost tastes like tuna. Adele is healed by Adele. Perfect. So the campground that Adele sets up smells terrible. The source of the smell is a complete mystery. Let's endure the smell and try to get some sleep. <laughs> Adele endures the smell zone all night. Love the blinking text. Until passing out. She is not happy in the morning, but she was at least able to sleep. My morale is down. But we ate a meal, and then our morale went back up. Uh, fine, fine by me. Our morale seems to have been restored to its previous glory of frowny face. So let's keep moving. The world really isn't so bad. Sure, it could use some improvements. I think that's a little bit of an understatement. Adele cuts herself pretty bad while goofing off in the post-apocalypse. She will probably need stitches for her arm. I tried cauterizing it in the past, and it went poorly, so let's try to stitch it up. Adele tries to suture up Adele's arm. She stitches up the arm with minimal pain. Hey, look at that. She... We lost some medicine, but our medical abilities have increased. Maybe soon we'll find a friend, and then if Adele dies, we don't lose automatically. It's been a while since we've encountered anyone new. Alright. Her health is decent. It's not full yet, which is disappointing. Adele is driving down a long stretch of road. No threats on the horizon, but not much else of interest either. You have 36 food left. Unexpectedly, Adele finds someone she can trade with. Let's visit the trader camp. It's nice and relaxing. I wonder if I could walk across these and then accidentally fall off. It looks like I could, so I'm not gonna do that. Nine days until Canada. Don't wanna make any dumb mistakes quite yet. Adele sees a man standing near an SUV. Do you have any spare gas? I'm running out. He offers you two cans of food for every 25 units of gas. You have 63 gas left. No thank you. I'd like to be able to make it all the way there, even if I can't find any more gas along the way. Adele finds a man near a rusted truck. The truck is full of gas tanks and oily rags. Both the man and the truck reek of gasoline. He offers to sell you 10 units of gas in exchange for every food item he gets. Man. That's a pretty poor exchange rate if you just keep going back and forth between the two of them. No thank you. Adele sees a gruff man near an ice cream truck. The world's ice cream... The words ice cream have been crossed off its sign with shotgun shells written in. He offers to sell five shotgun shells for every food item you give him. You have 36 food left. It won't let me just trade one food. But I think I can make do... I can make do for the whole trip with just... Let's see, well... If there's really 19 days left... Or, 9 days left, that's 18 food. So I should be able to trade 5 for 25 shotgun shells. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. What's this lady selling? Adele meets a woman wearing oil stained coveralls. I can help you get better at repairing stuff. It's a real handy skill. Might save your life. So I'm kind of coming down on food, but let's see if my charm can get me the mechanic skills I need. Adele gets free training in the art of science of anti-zombie engineering. Adele's mechanical increases from pretty smiley face to extremely smiley face. Okay, maybe now I'll be able to fix my hybrid if it breaks down. Let's check out what's in these houses. Looks like they've already been looted, at least this one. We'll check the other one just to be sure, and we'll 
Steal some gasoline from this guy. Oh no, that's just a little symbol above his head, isn't it? All right. Found some ammo. Maybe we didn't need to buy it after all. No shotgun ammo. A little bit of food. Yeah, this is just pistol ammo, so good thing we did buy it. Getting our food back up. Not a problem. I don't think we're going to starve. Nothing back here, it looks like. Just, just a line of trees. <laughs> Collisions in this game, they're, they're very literal. So I can't walk like behind this house. Kind of looks like I'm just walking on top of it. All right. Yeah, that guy's a little gasoline tank above his head indicating that that's what he sells. Okay, go back across the bridge and get going. Hopefully this guy didn't steal our car. I don't think that's even a thing that could happen, if I'm being honest. Let's hop in. Whoa, okay, that took a little bit of effort to start. Nice. Keep your eyes open for anything suspicious. Can do, Adele. Adele accidentally disturbs a lot of undead while scouting a city. This causes the chain reaction of blunders, and she is soon surrounded. Her only chance is running through a tunnel in the road. Your zombie forecast is a very thick swarm of hunting zombies. It's almost noon, but we're going to try to survive. Not much here to do. Maybe I'll switch out the knife for the shotgun just for a little bonus safety. My health is decent, so I could get hit a handful of times. Let's play. Oh, geez, these guys are seriously hunting. Come on. Yeah. This is the most aggressive horde I've I've come across. It seems like by a lot. I got to keep shooting to clear a path. There's no other option. I can sneak by here. Some of these cars have gas, but I really don't think I have the time to get to it. Ah, oh, I, I seriously missed that shot. I'm only nine days away from Canada. I can't, I can't lose now. I, I think this could be the one. I wish I could invite the trading caravan people to come along with me. That guy that's selling gas, like, hey, give me your gas and come on with me. All right, we've got to be almost, almost through it. Here we go, here we go. Do you want to walk back to the road? Yes, let's hit the road. Hopefully I didn't lose my car because of that. Thank goodness. It, it does look like it's breaking down a little bit, but my mechanical skill is it higher than it's ever been. Adele feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. She feels like she's getting the hang of this. Choose a reward for your survivor. Morale and random skill gain. Morale and one health healed. Fitness, strength. Fitness will make me faster in case something like that happens again. But my morale is real low. My health is low too, but I think I've got some medical supplies, so I'm going to go with morale and a random skill gain. Every day is a great teacher as long as you don't get eaten. Adele's shooting increases. That's nice. I've been using a gun quite a bit. Okay. My morale is still frowny face. Never liked all the mosquitoes in Florida anyway. Agreed. Bed and breakfast. Adele finds an inn open for business. The owner wrings her hands. Give me ten food, I'll watch over you while you sleep. It's the creepy laughter again. We've had this encounter before, I think in the first episode. The engine of my car is almost broken down, but the chassis is in great condition. I have 36 food, and I know that I get a free night's meal if I give her the ten, so I'm really only losing out on eight, I guess. And it's a comfortable night's sleep unless I, I these encounters probably always have a random outcome i'm gonna haggle her down to five food just in case adele gets a better deal for the night you're a sly one <laughs> lose food minus five the innkeeper serves up an amazing breakfast okay wonderful i didn't heal it all overnight which you know it's a it's a downer Adele spots an arcade. The dead completely swarm the inside of it. It's probably a bad idea to go in there. Or is it? At least bring someone to watch your back. So it recommends bringing someone to watch my back. And I've got no one to do so. So I'm going to drive to another location and just spend three gas. What's my gas looking like? 35? That's not bad. Let's just keep driving. I'll skip the arcade. 
Dell drives near a rather large apartment building. It may take a while to explore this, but they might have an indoor pool. How nice. It's a moderate swarm that's pretty calm, so there's no problem exploring these apartments. I'm going to switch to my knife. I'm running low on shotgun ammo after that run down the street. I was expecting... I don't know why I was expecting an outdoor area, but I was, and this is not that. This is actually a pretty large horde, all things considered. But they're... They're not too fast, so not a problem. Nothing going on for me in here. I'm gonna die, aren't I? I'm hoping I can live through this a little longer. Close that door on him. More food. No, that was ammo. What's on this shelf? More food, okay. Let's get going. That zombie did not seem to mind being pushed around quite a bit. I think I'm gonna have to switch to my shotgun if I wanna if I wanna survive this one. Uh that's that's the way we came in. Took him out. Let's uh come on, come on, come on. Get in, get inside! What are you doing? Adele! Food. I got medical supplies. I don't know why I don't use them. Yep. I think I'm down to just the one ammo, and now it's gone. Taking out this frying pan. Come on, swing a lot, swing a lot. No, okay. Maybe I should have taken that fitness. Medical kit? Just pistol ammo for a pistol I don't have. Oh, man. Okay, this, this hallway is pretty clear. Let's get into this room. Medical kit? Just junk. And an empty bathroom. That's not what I want. Not even a little. Is there another door over here? Yeah. And there doesn't appear to be any zombies inside it. There's two in here. But we can handle it. Ammo for an assault rifle. But all I've got is a shotgun. Gasoline. One gas. This is so not worth it. I thought this would have a lot of loot in it. What are you doing to me? No, I don't think I can afford to try to... Okay, I need to come in here to avoid that swarm coming up behind me. A medical kit. Junk. Ammo. Come on, give me some shotgun ammo. More medical kits. Use them. Use them. Oh, no, no, no. Can I, can I heal? What do I do to heal? Come on. Well, with that, we've died once again on the death road to Canada. And I guess that's the end of the episode. Dang it. So uh, that's all for now. But thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next episode.